So Steelcase is a company that was founded in 1912 and today it's the largest global um, furniture company, contract furniture company in the world in the B2B business and so we spend a lot of time and effort in research and understanding people, understanding work, understanding people at work. So we, we call this facility LINK, uh, which is uh, an acronym for Learning and Innovation Center. And there's quite a big emphasis on the learning aspect as well, because um, one of the main challenges today is like, okay, how fast we, are we able to learn from uh, the market, from our customers, from each other. I think a lot of people like over the last couple of years they thought that 3D printers are this kind of magic tool that you just have to, you buy one you, and then you suddenly become like a great creator and, and make all of your own stuff and that's obviously not true. I mean you still have to know what you're doing, you still have to create stuff that can be printed and you have to actually know quite a bit about what materials to use and how to print things. I mean we're, we're constantly learning and I think one of the things that is really amazing about the Big Wrap is that you can in a, in a furniture context, you can create full-scale samples. With a lot of other 3D printers, you kind of like, you have these miniatures, you know, and it's like a, you can put a puppet on top, and you get a little bit of an idea about, about some of the proportions, and, but you don't really understand what a piece of furniture means in the real world, because it's human scale, it's related to space, it's related to the human body. You can now take a, a 3D printed shell and get it um, upholstered by an upholstery specialist. So somebody can already develop um, the, the patterns, you know, the fabric patterns, the leather patterns, the type of stitching, and the kind of padding that you would need around a 3D printed shell before we even have a, a tool made. So here we have the big red part 3D printed full scale. We have another one on the back. They have a slightly different language. Here it's fully hollow. Here it was partially massive. Um, so we have those two languages that we tried. We just put a metal bar and then we have this plywood. Yeah. When you evaluate in 3D, um, there's still the, the virtual barrier. Um, whereas uh, making remains for me the, the essence of how we work because you can really see uh, the product being live. It's not the final material, it's not the final geometry, but making this really hollow you to all of a sudden uh, see it live, see the, the light that goes through, uh, see the assembly of the product and uh, allows you to really validate or not uh, a concept direction. We see the, the big rep is ideal for printing larger scale objects when we need real scale, one to one. Yeah, and it's quite a luxury to have such a large 3D printer to play with, to be honest.